Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I really have to say I did not see this coming. Olight has introduced a brand new product, and it, you know, sometimes I talk about Olight as being a uh, kind of a, an EDC company, you know, specializing in, in lighting and now knives. Well, they're branching out, and I'd have to say this is going into kind of the lane of lifestyle. So anyway, what is their new product? Well, their new product is the O-Lamp. This is the, the um, pamphlet that comes with this thing. Well, actually, let me just show you. Here are two of them right here. Um, these are O-Light uh, products. They're called O-Lamps. And in fact, in particular, this is the O-Lamp Night Tour. And what you've got here is a USB-C or USB-C rechargeable light, it has a 4,000 milliamp battery. It has a, a three, roughly 360 degree uh, lighting system inside right here that can be uh, either a, uh, um, just a kind of a useful, um, kind of a yellowish towards whitish ambient light, um, or it can be a colored light and you can see on this one it's changing cycling through blue and red and purple etc or I can have it just stand still and this is actually let me cut the light here so you can see maybe a little better this just uses a, um, a set of all of the LED colors um, and you can see it's slowly moving through so you've got your purple as it slowly goes down kind of a neat little effect um, it's got a suction cup stand. This is kind of a neat little idea here. Um, turn the light back on. But what this does is it has just a little flap of skin right here that sticks to a flat surface with, uh, with pretty amazing strength. Now, what's going on up here? You can see there's a light up there. This is actually a pivotable light. So I can adjust the angle of it here um, till straight out. But also, it pops off. Um, so there is a control button here that works only when the light is um, is plugged in. So this one you can see um, it's plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on for this demonstration. Um, I'm using my um, my Milwaukee um, top off. This thing's great. So I'm going to give some power to some things. So anyway, once it's there um, and turned on, I can, and plugged in here, let me turn it on. There we go. I can actually control it up here at the top, but I can also pop it free and then it operates um, with a shake, turning it on and off at whatever the last um, memory setting is. I'll go over the brightness in just a moment. So anyway, once it's on, if I hold the button, um, in, you can see, what do we got here? There it goes, it's changing in brightness here. And uh, it will hold then whatever the last setting is. So this one isn't near as bright. Um, there isn't a button back here, it's operated by shake. Now you might notice that's sort of familiar. Where have you seen that? Well, other Olight. Um, this is their charging port. And in fact, um, if you recall, I talked about the O bulb. So I can drop an O-bulb in there and turn it on. And the, the complementary charging port has opened up a world here. In fact, I wonder if I can do this. Drop my O-bulb there and then my spaceman. Will he stay on? Yeah, check that out. I'm gonna have fun playing with it. But what, o what Olight has done is they've kind of created an ecosystem of these um, objects that uh, have some interactivity. And so as this guy's flying through the air, um, I can control him here. If I take him off, um, turn him back on here. Oops, this is the multicolored one. But anyway, uh, I can have some fun with that. Or of course, use it as a reading light. It is a, a nice, nice uh, desk lamp. Now, I do like desk lamps. Um, like when I said I didn't see this coming, I was kind of surprised. It was like, what, what am I going to do with that? Well, I actually have a desk lamp uh, to compare it to, this guy here. 
Um, it uses a, turn this one on, just fired up my, my um, uh, top off to plug in the adapter here, which is running the, running the cords. Um, great little thing, these top offs. But anyway, so I've got this, this desk light here. It's got a nice bright LED. Um, one of the features I do like about it is right here, it has a USB port so I can have things plugged in. Uh, I'm not sure how hard it would be to actually have a USB in and out um, on this thing. It only has a 4,000 milliamp battery, so that's not a whole bunch of uh, power uh, to run in a device, but I kind of like having that ability. Um, as far as the uh, ambiance, um, I've played around with these just in different places, and, and it's a really convenient light. Um, just adds, in this case, uh, if I run it down, um, just a little bit. Maybe I'll put this one on its brightest, this one on its dimmest. Um, it's got this, this multi-position switch down here. I should show you that. So it's just a little switch right here. Um, if it is uh, clicked up, it controls the colors. Click down from that position turns it off. If I just click it down from the off position, it turns on the light, the white light. Um, and then if you hold it, it cycles through the brightness or down, up or down, whichever you want. Um, and then down to shut it off. So it's a simple design, nice streamlined form here. Um, fairly light, it's about a pound. Um, but anyway, I thought if the USB went out, that would be kind of cool. This one I've had a little bit of trouble with as far as the angling, and I use it often as an ambient or an ambient light. So I may have it in the upright position pointed towards a wall or something. Um, and then I don't have the, the good direct light that I would get um, from something like this that I can use now kind of as a spotlight. Um, anyway, the features of this, um, take a quick look right here. What do we have? Crank up a little bit more light so we might be able to see better. Um, what do we have here? We have got on the white light, zero to 60 lumens, 31 hours max. So you can, um, obviously that's the battery. Um, you can run it. Uh, for days, uh, if you wanted, say, in a power outage or something like that, and you just wanted something safer than a candle, um, that's an excellent choice. Um, if I run the bait or the colors, um, two to ten lumens max, um, and then that will run for 15 hours. Uh, and the 15 hours uh, to me is a long time to just have the kind of the party going on with the lights. Um, you can see that it's about 15 inches tall, um, three inch base, pretty small. Um, if it doesn't have a textured base, you know, it could be a little unstable, but if I stick it onto something that's got, um, you know, fairly flat, I don't know if I can get it to stick to that, to a box, but anyway, if you put it on like glass or a countertop or something, it's, it's surprising and you kind of have to slide it gently before you can break the suction. Um, and then finally the weight down here, 420 grams or 14.8 ounces, a little under a pound. Um, basically, it's got that 4,000 um, 4, milliamp rechargeable battery, so that gives it a pretty good run time. This is the, the box the thing comes in, nice elongated, uh, surprising box. But anyway, I, I'm, I'm excited about Olight because they actually are producing something I have never seen before, and I had to learn, you know, what are, what are good uses for it? Um, in some ways, you might think, well, they've invented something that I don't know if I had a need for it. Well, the more I play with it, the more I find this is really a neat idea. And there are times when I want to just grab a light and maybe I'm already, you know, sitting somewhere reading and I, I just can grab the light and go and do whatever I want to do with it and then snap it back in to recharge it up again. Um, as far as uh, durability, it, this is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know if it was on this one or let me see. It might be in this more complex user manual. There's kind of a funny line here. Um, see if I can find this quickly. Um, it has to do with the, the drop test of this. 
Um, I see it anyway. Basically, what it said uh, was that it's it's pretty durable. Uh, here it is, the drop test up here at the top. You can see one meter after being dropped on each of the six sides, the product can withstand a one meter drop on five of the sides, but suffers damage when dropped on the top side. So you can drop this all kinds of different ways. Um, I've, I've tipped it over, it doesn't seem to do anything. If you, This can get knocked off if you hit it hard enough, but it's actually on there pretty stout. Um, but anyway, this thing here, uh, if you drop it and it lands like that, you might break this this piece that's sticking off. Uh, it looks like it's machined aluminum. Um, kind of a neat, neat idea. Um, and then you wanna change that to your party there. Go for it. Um, I did seek or time these things, which is kind of interesting. If I put both of them at zero and flick them both at the same time, and then watch them as they cycle through their different colors. Anyway, this is the Olight Olamp, um, a new product from Olight uh, as they, they explore these new spaces in lighting. Um, and I'm curious, you know, where this is going to end up because, you know, I didn't wake up in the morning thinking I was going to be doing, doing that with my little spaceman guy here. Get it on there. Get a different one. Here we go. So, um, it was cool on. All right. Anyway, kind of fun. Uh, and with that, Doc out.